Hello, welcome to Show Studio's video review series. I'm Show Studio fashion editor Georgie Evans, and I'm joined by Igesta Ir. I really hope I pronounced that okay. <laughs> Igesta Ir. Yes. yes, that was pretty good. Pretty good? Pretty good, I'll yeah. I'll work on it, I'll work yeah. on it. I'm sorry to have butchered your beautiful name. It's totally fine. Um, we're here to discuss Yang Li Spring Summer 20, and full disclaimer, this is going to be a totally biased review, um, because, rather excitingly, we have worked with Yang Li on this collection. Um, you can see here a little ticket to Yang Li Greatest Hits, and it says, in collaboration with Show Studio, rather excitingly. Um, but the main brains behind the operation is this lovely lady here. Um, and so Yang Li decided to do a kind of greatest hits, a celebration of all kind of previous designs, cherry picking the best of, basically, and calling upon musicians and all his previous collaborations with musicians um, to bring together this kind of capsule collection, two, two, beep, beep. Um, and then we and the wonderful Gista um, did the amazing screens um, around this display. Uh, so basically, Jesus and the Mary Chain, the wonderful band, play music. The screens um, show the collection, um, and then the collection comes out at the end. Uh, that is a very, very basic overall description of what happened. Um, and rather excitingly, correct me if I'm wrong, this is the first time that Vogue Runway are going to have kind of 3D assets. I'm pretty sure, yes. Yeah. Yeah. So the videos that are playing on the screen is um, all your masterpiece. Yes. Um, and it's kind of 3D scans. Yeah, it's all 3D scans. Like you, like I have this scanner. I walk around the models, and then they become these animated yeah. figures. Yeah. yeah. Which is amazing, and they're all kind of moving and dancing and rotating, and it's super beautiful. And they're kind of focused on the Jesus and Mary Jane album cover, right? Yeah, yeah, really, really cool. Um, so, tell me a little bit about the process when when it all started, because you've had kind of so much experience with Yang and all the models, and I know mm -hmm. the models are quite important to the collection as well. Yeah. So, it, I mean, it all started with an email from Nick. I've shot with <laughs> as Nick all before. Things do. Yeah. <laughs> I've shot with Nick before, and. Um, sort of like my work got introduced to him and it all just went from there he said that he would keep me in mind for any future projects and this one sparked Amen. something yeah and um i was so excited to do it of course when i got this email and then met with yang and ellie um and it just everything flowed so amazingly we all got along and they were really excited about doing these like 3D scan figures that look very plasticky because the Jesus and Mary Chains, like one of their prominent lyrics is plastic toy. Mm. And so the figures kind of look like these little plastic toys in these like surreal cartoon worlds. So it all just kind of went together. Yeah, it all came together like so naturally and easily that it was. I'm so happy that yeah. I did. <laughs> we're literally straight after the like presentation yeah. show, so we're kind of like reeling a little bit. When you say Ellie, you mean Ellie Grace coming? Yes. yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Just to clarify, um, and so all the models that kind of you scanned, they're kind of friends and family or musicians. Yeah. So Ellie and Ruby have worked together many, many times, and Wolf is the son of Bobby Giuseppe, who used to be. Correct me if I'm wrong. The singer of. <laughs> the Jesus and Mary Chain. I'm primal pretty screen, sure. Yeah. Primal screen. Yeah. I'm pretty sure it's yeah. Primal Screen. Primal Screen, yeah. <laughs> um, so <clears throat> there's that. And then Tatiana is another model who worked with Yang in the, his last show last year. And so it all, everyone like knew each other. So it was kind That's of, really yeah, nice. it was great, yeah. That's really lovely. Yeah. I was like the newcomer. I was like, yeah. Hey. <laughs> oh, actually, we should definitely point out that you're wearing some of the Yeah, I'm wearing. So. This is part of, this is kind of a reissue of the collaboration with, did you say Young Lean? Yeah, Young Lean. Yeah, um, and it's got a, a lot of the items in the collection kind of have this band memorabilia or kind of like rave ticket um, and like gig ticket um, stickers all over it. Yeah. A lot of it is kind of mirroring, you were telling me earlier, the kind of albums of Jesus and the Mary Chain. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, the skirts, like some of his like printed skirts are prints from covers of their albums and stuff like that so it's, everything's like intertwined with music also and yeah like, this like funky feel and like pictures all over the clothing are all like band memorabilia kind of like some of the fonts as yeah, well really kind of pointed and yeah. super kind of rock rock style rock and roll, rock and roll so cheesy <laughs> i'm an old grandma rock and roll styling um but I, what i really like is the idea of presenting in this way and to kind of it's something that Yang Lee challenged last season when he did kind of a almost like a street style um, Instagram takeover and everyone had their own mm -hmm. images but I really like the idea of showing fashion in this way and is fashion something that you often capture in 3D or are you kind of yeah so it's something that like I've been doing 3D for a while now but it's getting more prominent with fashion and like beauty and stuff like that where 
I think it kind of blends really well together in this odd way because the scans themselves aren't perfect, but it kind of just works together in this great way. Like I've seen a lot of scans that are really pristine and I just think they're like too hyper real. Yeah. To, like the ones that I do, I feel like are have this like these imperfections that kind of feel human-like in some sort of weird yeah. way. Well, I really loved as well. I was looking at when there's a moment in the film where the girl's kind of talking to camera while her mouth's just going yeah. like this. And she's got like a hole in her ear mm -hmm. and a hole in her neck and then like kind of a mole stretched across yeah. here. But I love that. Like it's almost yeah. like so real, it's fake or so fake it's real. Does that make any sense? Yeah, no, it makes total <laughs> sense. And like that's kind of like something that I strive for within my work is like these different dimensions and different worlds to take people into and like just like bring their headspace somewhere else for yeah. like however long any video that I make is. Yeah. Yeah. And I think that's also really kind of what Yang's about as well. Yeah, one hundred percent yeah this different space, taking you into this different environment. And I think it's really good to kind of pull the fashion pack out of the yep. usual schedule, the regimented mm -hmm. um kind of robot rat race that we're yeah. getting into and just have this kind of explosion of like creativity and a mm -hmm. different way to show clothes and Yeah, exactly. And like, I mean Jesus this is a yeah, thing. Exactly. <laughs> I mean this was like some sort like his second um automatic show which was his last agent show um where it's like he kind of let go of mm. control and he kind of just like gave it to me <laughs> which was great <laughs> she uh, had all the power yeah basically it had all the power like i could choose any like the motions that i wanted the girls to do or like and wolf and or any scene that i wanted to put them in i think it was like it was this weird thing where he like it was so funny like the last week before like last week was he, I was so stressed out, obviously, sure. and he was like, it's like my my stressfulness before the show has been transferred to Jeez. you. Yeah. I bet he was thrilled. Yeah, I mean, I think he was thrilled, but also, like, quite odd for him, like, yeah, not yeah, to have this, like, stress before a show that, like, most designers have, so, yeah. but it was, it was honestly, it was so surreal also seeing it in, the, like, the space with the four screens and, yeah. and seeing the band play live with, with the videos, because we've That's just amazing. been working off of, like, recordings. So like live recordings that we have from them and like seeing it all together was incredible. It was it was really really incredible. Definitely go and watch it. You can visit Show Studio to watch it now. <laughs> yes. Um, thank you so much for coming no, to come. Thank you. Yeah, of course. The show. Um, apologies for the incredibly biased review, but yeah, we can't help it. We worked in collaboration and it was. It was too also good amazing. Not to, it was just amazing. <laughs> so we'd say it anyway. Um, if you're watching through YouTube, comment, like, subscribe, let us know what you thought, um, and make sure to go to the studio so you can see everything that this wonderful woman has created, um, and you can see this review alongside it as well. Um, see you guys soon. Thank you so much. Yeah, of course. Thank you. Bye.